Some business owners, they're angry, knowing IMPD could have been more prepared. Fox 59's Bianca Reyes is live downtown, hearing some reaction to this new report. Yeah, good evening. Seven million dollars. That's the true economic toll last year's riots had on downtown Indy and business owners here say it all could have been avoided. Now, Downtown Indy Inc. says a total of 112 businesses were all damaged by either riots, fires and or looting. And with this report placing the blame rather on IMPD, some business owners say accountability needs to come from the top down. They want widespread change to prevent this from happening again. No, I think that if the preparation was right, I think if the mayor would have made requests to the governor of, of bringing the National Guard in, I think that that would have probably saved the day. I think if the streets weren't given up, I don't think we would have gotten to that position. It's my understanding that IMPD was here and ready to help, and the administration asked them to stand down. Now, in a statement, Mayor Hogsett points out there have been more than 150 protests since June 1st, none of which repeated the chaos of those two nights of violence. He goes on to say that IMPD has made a series of substantial changes since then. Now, all that being said, Mayor Hogsett said the work is far from over, and businesses here say no matter what the solution is, they say it can't come soon enough. Reporting in downtown, I'm Bianca Reyes. Back to you.